Happy Eid, Coach. My question is, what advice would you give your 20-year-old self? That's from Rus React. Um, what would I tell my 20, 20-year-old self? Um, I would have, honestly, I would have given myself more business advice. I would have said, look, buy, invest. You know, I, I, I was always good at making money in my life, but I wasn't good at investing money. Making money is important. Yes, you need a cash flow. And then you need to invest. And I saw a lot of much smarter people than me make a lot less money than I did. And now that I'm in my 40s, okay, I'm 43 now. I see people that really made it by investing. Really smart people. They just invest, 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 invest. And, you know, the amounts of money they made became, ton like, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm, I'm far from being uh, financially uncomfortable. I, you know, I did well for myself. But I've finally learned to invest, you know, because I was always a hard worker. I was always a learner. I was always very dedicated. I always had, I always really gave my best, you know. But one thing I was really weak in, I would say that I should have done better. That Because I only say this because my older brother used to always tell me this, invest in this, invest in that. Like my brother was telling me to buy Ethereum at the pre-launch. Like if you guys don't know what Ethereum is, it's a crypto technology. It came off, I think when it came out, it was like 35 cents. Now today it's like a thousand six hundred dollars american but like my brother was telling me buy this buy and i didn't even know what it was I was looking at this like, you know and he kept sending it to me sending it to me and like and i bought i bought early i bought way early okay i bought like at 150 bucks today it's 10x right? okay so i'm not saying i didn't invest. i've invented i invented i invested plenty but i didn't reach black belt level status okay i'm far from, i was blue belt level status let's say okay blue belt level status and even with blue belt level because crypto went so crazy i became rich off it I became, I did well with crypto. I bought, I was buying Bitcoin at 500 bucks, okay? I'm still a big believer in crypto. I know we went through a crypto winter. Guys, that's my fourth crypto winter. I don't sweat crypto winters. Crypto winters is when crypto kind of dies. I'm not worried about crypto. I understand that it's a long-term plan, you know? But besides crypto, it could be anything. I have, I know guys who are masters of investing. Masters. They take $1,000. And they turn it to five thousand dollars. They take that five thousand dollars, and they turn it to ten, and then that ten to a hundred, and a hundred to a million. And it, it's incredible what they do. It's incredible. And all they do is they study. And there's different ways to do it. And they have a whole black belt. Like, like these guys are black belts. You understand? They're black belts. And they don't, like, they don't need a job. These guys, they're just really, really smart, smart people. I read Snowball by, um, Elon, uh, not Elon Musk forgetting his name one of the richest guys ever in the world uh pff, man famous guy come on guys you guys all know him he wrote snowball the book snowball i can remember his book but i'm not remembering his name right now i don't know why uh, somebody's gonna write his name in the chat i'm sure any second now i know there's a delay from when i talked to warren buffett damn it yes warren buffett guys one of the richest guys i love his story he drives a regular car lives in a regular house he gave all his children $1 million and no more. I love that about him. I love that about him. He's like, no, they're going to make it. If I give them $1 million, I've, I've given them more help than 99% of people in history. And if they don't invest it, they don't follow my footsteps, too bad for them. And he's going to leave his money for charity when he dies and all that. His book, Snowball, is brilliant. You know, he talks about he invests and he invests. And, and okay, it's just brilliant. And the guy, I know the guy hates Bitcoin and I understand why. And I don't want to get into the details. But if I can give myself some advice, you know, about life in general, I would tell myself, listen to your older brother and do what he tells you. Invest, invest, invest. I would have been a gazillionaire by now. And why do I want to be a gazillionaire? Well, not because I want a fancy house and fancy cars and I don't care about Bugattis. I don't care about anything about that. I don't wear Versace. If you ever see me wearing Versace, there's only one instance I would wear like a brand name. If somebody gave it to me as a gift, which I don't, I don't want them as a gift, but if somebody, I would, if I ever received it as a gift, that's the only way like I would wear it just to honor the person, who, like just to be nice to the person who bought it for me. But really, I, I dislike brand names. Tommy Hilfiger, Versace, all this stuff. I dislike it. Now, I have nothing against it. If you made your money in a halal way and you buy that, that's your business. But me personally, on my person, I don't want any, any super expensive type clothing. Uh, if I go to a wedding, I'll dress up nice. I'll buy a nice suit. Yes, but I, I don't want to go like, What's another brand name? Gucci. I don't. I don't like these things. Why? It's just hype. It's all hype. 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 Infinity. 
people are talking to me about prime water. Coach, have you heard about prime water? Prime water. What's prime water? <gasps> prime water. My daughter loves prime, prime water. Why? She saw it on YouTube. My sons. Prime water. Prime water is so good. Hype, hype, hype. I go, I buy a bottle of prime water to my kids. I look at it. It's coconut water. It's basically coconut water. It's basically, you know, a little preservative here and there. Sweetened coconut water, whatever it is. Okay, if you like prime, I have nothing against prime. I have nothing against prime, but really, it's not that good. You just think it's that good because they hyped it up. The hype bubble is so high, and I get it. I'm not against business. I'm very pro business. Business is good. Business is good. It's what makes the world, it, it, it's what helps. We need to create products and services. I'm all for that. But I also think the hype goes too far sometimes. Like, if I'm wearing Tommy Hilfiger, some young kid looks at me and he's like, hey, I'm going to wear Tommy Hilfiger too. Okay, well, I got to hustle now. Okay, well, let me cheat. Let me cut a few corners now. Why? I don't need a shirt. I need a Tommy Hilfiger shirt. Tommy Hilfiger shirt is double the price. So I'm more tempted now to cut corners, step on people's heads, be a cheat to get that Tommy Hilfiger. If I don't get Tommy Hilfiger, I feel unaccepted. I feel not part of the group. I feel I'm not, I'm not loved by my fellow man. Oh, I'm an outcast. I'm one of the group that didn't make it to the Tommy Hilfiger level. I think that's all crap. Okay, so that's why I try to avoid Tommy Hilfiger. Like I wear like, you know, you know these gym these gyms they gave me t-shirts i like to wear their shirts on on the internet why because it makes them i like to hype them up not tommy hilfiger tommy hilfiger he's rich enough um so that's what advice i would give myself now if you're talking about training and i went rambled on about something <laughs> that was totally irrelevant to you 